Hey, good afternoon, everybody out there in Facebook world, social media world, coming yeah. to you live from Jamestown, North Dakota. My name is Reverend Pastor Sean Gregory Bowman. You can call me Sean. And I'm here with my colleague Conan, colleague Faye, and uh, we are we are just delighted to be with you today as, uh, as we are coming to you uh, in what we call prayer, intercessory prayer, uh, prayer that is for God's people to, to know that God is, God is with you, God is, uh, he's blessing you, he's helping you uh, during these times. And, and I just pray that as we, as we come before the Lord here today, I'm, I'm just pulling up my phone here, as we come before the Lord, that uh, we can we can get our hearts ready. You know, I, I, I like to chat for a few minutes and uh, get people going. I'm going to hit share so that everybody sees that. How do you do that now? Is this the little share button on the corner there? This one? Yep. And then uh, hit oh, yeah. right post or you can just uh, yeah, and then post. post. There you go. All right. Trying to get people fired up. Hey, Chris Meininger, good to have you. Hit your share button. Hit your like button so we can get all your friends on at least, and we'll get get things rolling. We're glad that you're with us, Chris. And we're going to be praying for a clean bill of health, uh, a continued clean bill of health for you uh, as you are um, rejoicing over the, the good news of the uh, continued tests to make sure that there's no cancer anywhere in your body. And it was clean. Praise the Lord for that. We're grateful. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we're we're just uh, we're enjoying life right now. Uh, we just had a big uh, big staff meeting uh, talking about doing a debrief on Easter Sunday, the weirdest Easter we've ever had. Come on, you come to town, and we've got some weird things happening. It snowed on Easter for the first time in my life. We get it. We get Conan coming to town, joining staff, and he brings snowstorms, outdoor Easter services. I don't know, Faye. What do we do with this guy? <laughs> I mean, outdoor he's, services is one thing, but when you you have to be in your car the whole time, that's I know. Of, yeah, that's it, one thing. It was it was a little weird, but you know, hey, we had a good time, and uh, we're talking about now. Next time we do an outdoor service, <clears throat> I told Conan. Uh, I want you to get your guitar. I want you to get up there. We'll get a team around you, and I want you to cut loose and make that trailer rock. I want you to rock that, baby. Turn up your speakers. Let's get this place jamming. And uh, he said, no problem. That's, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm on it. So uh, uh, let's look forward to that. You know, as long as we got that trailer there, we might as well use it. And uh, Tony Hagen said we could use it. So we're going to do that. It was uh, it was good. Darren Lund, welcome aboard. Uh, Sharon Odegaard, welcome. Kathy Gar Kathy Garvin, Kathy Gar. Hey, Kathy. Uh, I'll call you tonight. Here's your old friend. <laughs> here's your old friend. Good to have you, Kathy. Uh, welcome on board, uh, Sister Marjo. Welcome. We're glad you're here joining us in prayer. Good to have uh, Chris Meininger on board. Uh, uh, I say keep Conan. <laughs> Amen, Terry. Good to have you. And good men's Bible study today. We're glad to glad to have that men's Bible study. Jolene Hauk. For, oh, friend from the past. Jolene Hauk. Uh, good to have you guys when you're moving back to Jamestown. Victor, we'd love to have you back. Uh, we are glad you guys are joining us. You, what you could do uh, as we get rolling here hit that share button down in the bottom left hand corner of your phone and uh, as you hit that share button or on your computer screen that'll go out to all your friends and, and kind of wake them up to the fact that um, it's time for intercessory prayer and America needs that right now more than anything and uh, don't be bashful or ashamed to tell people that hey uh, our church is praying and we want you to pray with us right now and that's a good thing you can also hit the little like button and uh, and that would be good. Uh, there's a little box down in the uh, in the uh, a little write a comment box on the bottom of your screen, and it says uh, you know write a comment. If you type in a prayer request, uh, we will promise to get that prayer request lifted up to you. Welcome, Linda Levine. Nice to have you, Jean and Shirley Wolf. Welcome on board, Mary Pat Wald. Good to have you guys, and mm -hmm. and uh, we are grateful that you guys are hopping on board. Darren, sure. we're. 
Darren Lund, where are you at nowadays? San Francisco, Washington, Florida, what are you up to nowadays? Uh, out there, in, uh, Derek Cozin over at Temple Baptist, good to have you, brother. Welcome on board. We're good to have good to have you uh, uh, with us this morning, uh, this afternoon. Uh, we're glad you're here. Hey, I hope you guys know uh, we love you. We we are the church, and right now we're just doing church together, and uh, we know that uh, we get people on board. What last week we had people from the Philippines, Africa. Uh, where else did we have people? All over. What was that one gal? She was from where? Belgium. Belgium. We had, a, I think we had a couple of people from India too. We had some. We had some India and Taiwan last week, yeah. and I, and uh, last Saturday I did a devotion. I had someone from like uh, um, um, South Carolina or Georgia or somewhere down in the south. Not to uh -huh. mention all my friends back in Washington and Oregon. The, What's up? Hey, Washington people. Well, welcome to North Dakota. You guys, you sent a whirlwind here. Old Conan, he's knocking her out of the park. And uh, we're, we're having a good time. And uh, hey, if you're needing a good job, North Dakota's still hiring. Come on out. <laughs> um, we'll be glad to have you. It's really warmer than you think. So we'd be glad to have you. Uh, let's take a look at some of the prayer requests here. Jolene, you're saying we're hanging out here. Always good to hear your message. Amen, Jolene. We love you too. Darren lost service. Well, get the service back, brother Darren. Get your service back. Um, Mar Marjo said prayers for Levi, sister, uh, needs physical healing. Yes, absolutely. We're gonna pray. We got a we got a, a prisoner who has a relative who has a coronavirus, and we're gonna pray for that that uh, that prisoner's uh, um, relative so that God can touch. Uh, that person's body and bring healing to it. This person doesn't live in North Dakota. The relative uh, of, of our person doesn't live in North Dakota, but uh, we need to lift that person up. Good to have you on board. Brother Augie went to seminary with Brother Augie. Shelly Lund, welcome. We're glad to have you. Um, hey, we're going to start praying, but before we do, once again, if you hit that little box down in the left-hand corner, hit the share. That's going to tell the whole world we're praying and America needs prayer. All your friends can hop on board with us and we can just pray together in one accord. Uh, we want to pray with you in one accord and, and lift up these uh, prayers. Darren's down in Phoenix soaking, um, soaking up the hot sun rays. Good, to, good, good for, the, for you, Darren. Hey, it's going to be 60 on Saturday, Sunday, I heard, rumor. Close I'm to looking 60. Forward to it. Yeah, Conan, I'm he's gonna to he's gonna pull out the sunscreen and get out there and do a little sun tan. Gotta get my base tan on. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So anyway, we're uh, we're glad you're with us. Um, just go ahead and write a comment if you want a prayer lifted up. We will lift those up. Uh, we're gonna go to the Lord in prayer. We're gonna we're gonna pray over a number mm. of things, but uh, let's just. Let's just prepare our heart. Do you have a scripture passage you want to read for us there, Sister Faye, that uh, would get us going? Do you have anything good in there? I do. I have quite a few, actually. All right. So uh, I'm going to have Faye read some scripture. Marilyn McGinley, good to have you. Kevin, brother, Kevin Patch. Good. One of my dearest brothers. I love you, brother. Good. Princess. Miss you over here. And uh, good to have you on board. Uh, Faye's going to read some scripture, and then we're just I'm going to hop into some prayer, and you pray with us. Write down a prayer request as we uh, as we go. It's good to have you guys. Love you guys, and we just we're so grateful that we get to be the church and uh, God's children coming together all over the world right now. So, Faith, would you read some scripture and then let's let's just bow our heads and go to go to the Lord in prayer. You bet. And this is from Deuteronomy thirty one six. It says, "Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them, for the Lord our God." He will personally go ahead of us, go ahead of you. Mm. He, he neither will fail us or will he fail you. Yeah. He says, God, in Isaiah 41, 10, don't be afraid for I'm with you. Yeah. Don't be discouraged for I am your God. Mm. I will strengthen you. Mm. I will help yes. you. Oh. I will uphold you with my right, victorious right hand. Mm. Yes, amen. Psalm 27, 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? Yeah. Why should you be afraid? Mm. The Lord is my, he is your fortress protecting mm -hmm. us from danger. So why should we tremble? Mm -hmm. The Lord is on our side. We will not fear. What can man do to us? What can this virus do to us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid. Only believe. We thank you, God, that there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Oh, yeah. And he who fears the Lord has... 
But he who fears has not been made, will be made perfect in love. This is from 1 John 18. And God, we thank you that we can trust in you with our whole heart. And we are not to lean on our own understanding. But, dear Lord, you will bring all things to pass mm. if we trust in you. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, listen to what God was speaking there. I love those Isaiah passages. Uh, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Yeah. This is God. This is God speaking, and he's speaking to you. And uh, when he says he's with you, he's with you. And uh, look at Isaiah 41. He says, For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying, Fear not. We don't have anything to fear, my friends. God has taken care of us. God has this whole world in his hands, and he's drawn us through. This is a God who loves you, nourishes you. He's with us, and we can look to the word. We can hold on to the word because the word won't won't let you go. The word loves you, and and, uh, and the word comes to you. Uh, I love how uh, the other night uh, we talked about how the word just sets us free to, to rest that, that he sends that the heat in the bosom, so to speak, of the, of the text I was speaking of, of when God starts to do a work in you, uh, an exciting work of knowing that, that God, is, God is declaring promises for me. Uh, God is setting me free to believe these things so that I can rest in him. And so this morning, this afternoon, uh, let's just pray for, for, our, for our country, pray for our communities. Uh, let's pray for some of these things now. Father God, we thank you. We love you. We pray for every person that's on this thread right now listening in Jesus' name. Father God, we ask that you would bless them. For those pastors that are listening, I pray for a special blessing on their churches and on their elders. I especially pray for a special blessing on, on how they are communicating with their, their parishioners that, 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 that their, their church would be drawn together uh, through this time, through social media, and that you would give these pastors a, a special measure of favor and grace to reach uh, their churches in, in a powerful, wonderful way. And uh, for those parishioners that are listening that, that are going to other churches, Father, would you bless their churches and their pastors as well? And uh, we just pray that the Christian church uh, rather it be here in Jamestown or anywhere in the world, Father God, that you would be lifting up in a powerful, strong way uh, uh, these these uh, uh, churches all over the world that are willing to preach Christ crucified. And Lord God, I pray that your word would, uh, would go forth, that it would be sharper than a double-edged sword, that it would not return void. Lord, we pray that right now, during this shutdown, where we are um, coming across uh, social media lines that we would see uh, literally a, a fourth great awakening uh, over the uh, social media airwaves. Father, that you would start to reach people and help people to be set free in a magnificent, powerful way. We pray for churches right now that, that are struggling and uh, that are trying to make ends meet in, in different parts of the country. I know some are hurting worse than others. Father, I pray that you would send uh, your mercies. I pray that you would send uh, um, just uh, checks from people unknown into these churches and that they would be sustained. I pray, Father God, for the restaurant workers that are trying to make ends meet right now. I pray, Father God, for the factory workers that aren't working right now. Father God, I pray for uh, all these small businesses that, that had a, maybe a week or two, maybe a, a month at most, uh, enough to, to make it. And Lord God, uh, there are so many businesses across America right now that want to uh, continue on, but they don't know how they're going to make it even with the stimulus package. Lord, they don't know how they're going to make it. And Father God, I pray that your mercy would be on America. I pray that you would wrap your arms around these people that are trying to make ends meet and they could um, they could uh, live on to see another month, another year, that they could climb out of this hole that, that um, this ugly virus has brought us into. Uh, we just ask you, Jesus, that you would give our nation favor and that we would uh, be wise in how we uh, use um, all of the medications and, and all of the, the test kits that are coming. Father God, we need wisdom from the doctors and from the nurses and from all of the people that are working so hard to, 
to keep us healthy and well in our country. Father God, we pray in Jesus' name for the believers that are on their knees praying right now. We pray, Father God, that you would just cause such a stir, such a magnificent stir in the hearts of the men and women and children in America that have dropped to their knees praying for a move of God, that Lord Jesus, that you would cause a, a literal uh, resurrection rumbling across the globe and that you would allow these churches to unite through the power and the spirit of God and that the word would start to move in a way that would hearken people into a relationship with you, a real true commitment, a, a, a surrendering, so to speak, of, of the love of the world to the love of God. We pray that you would literally through this time that there would be millions of souls that would be wanting that would be one for you through your church that's Amen. busy praying right now. And Lord, we pray. We pray over our mayor here in Jamestown, the mayors in, in the cities that are listening right now, in the East Coast, West Coast, the mayors uh, 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 even across the globe. We pray for the governors. We pray for the, uh, for the presidents of nations, uh, including our own Father God, that they would, they would have supernatural wisdom from heaven and that they would know where to pivot, when to pivot. And Lord, for the forces that are coming against leaders all over the world that are trying to do the best for the people that have, that, that have been put under the, the government regimes all over the world, Father God, we pray that you would protect them and that you would unify uh, governments that, that are trying to do the best for their people. Um, Lord, I just pray that you'd give us favor. I pray that you would bring us through this time and that we would be stronger in the end, that there would be, uh, that the ramifications would not turn into something that would be far worse than what we have seen in the last four weeks, Lord Jesus. We pray that you would just protect people for those that are in depression, for those marriages that are crumbling. And Lord, I've been on the phone lately. I know that there are marriages that are starting to break down. And Lord God, I pray in Jesus' name that you would bring healing to Amen. marriages that are starting to break down, that you would help people to realize that uh, marriage is built on an oath. It's built on a commitment, an oath to you, a commitment, a vow to each other that, that they are going to love God and love each other. Lord, it's not built on some wonderland Cinderella fairy tale. Uh, uh, it's, it's about a vow. In Jesus' name, I pray that you would help these marriages to, uh, to see the importance of just being faithful to Christ and then to each other. And uh, Father, we just pray for, for, for protection on marriages. And I pray for people out there right now that are struggling with suicide and, and, and deep depression. We pray against that spirit of depression. We pray in Jesus' name that the paraclete would come with a spirit of good news, that, that you would set people free as they, they give their struggles and pains and hurts and sorrows and sins to you, Jesus, that in that place you would bring hope, love, uh, 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 that you would bring um, just a, a, a sense of, of um, joy and peace and, and just a, a sense of happiness where there was once sorrow and Father God, we pray in Jesus' name now that you would start working on homes all across America. Lord, a strong home is, 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 is what's needed to build a strong country. Uh, families that are praying together and staying together and building the church and the church builds a community, the community builds a great nation. And that's, what, that's how a nation can follow um, the Constitution is when you have law-abiding citizens and Lord Jesus only you can cause us to want to follow the law of the land. And, uh, and it's because you win our hearts and you, you give us a desire to come under your authority. And we love you and thank you for that, Jesus. And I'm just going to pass it off to, to Conan here and uh, ask that he keep praying. Yeah, God, we just thank you so much for this day. We thank you that we can gather together as a community in an online platform, God, because it says in your word where two or more are gathered that you're in the midst, God. And I think... That is totally applicable to this situation right now where we are together virtually praying together. And I know, God, that you're meeting us here right now, God. So I just thank you for that. God, I also just want to echo the prayer that um, 
we need to be praying for our for our world, God. Not just our country here in the United States, but countries all over the world, God. I just pray that they would have uh, that you would just <clears throat> you'd be, be you'd be getting glorified, and that you'd be furthering your kingdom through us here, God. I pray for the church, God. I pray that we wouldn't uh, that we wouldn't just take this. Um, this pandemic that we're all experiencing as an excuse to close our doors. Yeah, we have to close our, our physical doors here in the church building, God, but just because the church building doors are closed doesn't mean the church is closed, God. The church is open for business as it ever was, God, and you're still doing an amazing work, God. You're changing lives, God, and I praise you for that. I praise you for the 106 brothers and sisters that gave their life to you this past Sunday in uh, Bellingham, Washington, and I praise you for the countless other peoples that are turning to you during this time, God. People here, maybe even here in Jamestown, North Dakota, that are coming to know you for the first time, God, mm-hmm. and I pray that you would continue to do that work, God, that you would continue to just cultivate your crop, God, and that we would just be open and committed to just being your vessels here, God. Yeah, you know, we're Yes, we are part of Victory Lutheran Church, God, but we are part of the bigger church, the big seed church, the church that we all belong to and we all believe, God. I know a lot of us here that are watching, we might be under the Lutheran banner. We might, some of us might be under the Baptist banner, the non-denominational banner. It doesn't matter, God. We are just, we're champions for you. We are champions for Jesus, God. And I just pray that you would continue to do that good work and that we wouldn't just hide behind the fact that we can't congregate together in a building, that we can congregate in other ways, like using social media as a platform, doing Zoom calls, picking up the phone and talking to somebody on the other end. God, I was hearing stories left and right last week about how God had been meeting people in like the smallest ways whether it was somebody sending a handwritten note just Mm. letting them know that they're being thought of that they're being prayed for Mm. or somebody picking up a phone and calling a friend that they hadn't talked to in a long time god Mm. and uh god we don't know we don't know where these people are at and we don't know how far an act of kindness like that would go Mm. and uh god i just pray that we would take that seriously that you've commissioned us you've called us into this life of making disciples. You mm. said go forth and make disciples of all the nations, God. Yes, we don't Jesus. do that inside of a church building yeah. surrounded by four walls. We do that by going into our communities, by mm. loving our neighbors mm-hmm. as we love ourselves, yes. and by just being obedient to your word, yes, God, Jesus. that you've called us into this life. Yes. God, and we will face persecution. You said that at first foremost, and you face the the most persecution of all by being nailed mm. to a tree, God, and crucified, dead and buried. Mm. And that's what we celebrated the other day, God, is that you burst forward from that grave, that the stone yes. was rolled away, and that that grave was empty. Yeah. God, that goes to show us that even though we may fer- face persecution, that we may even lose our lives, God, that when we lose our lives here, we gain everything. So God, I just thank you for that. I thank you for the the faith that you're you're instilling in us through your word, through the Bible, and the, through your son, Jesus. Yeah. And God, I, I want to pray right now. Um, I want to pray for our students. I want to pray for the kids that are uh, that are facing facing hardships of being mm-hmm. being lonely. Um they might even be facing some form of domestic violence, uh, being stuck at home with in a bad situation. God, I just pray that you would, that you would be building that hedge of protection around them, yeah. God. That you'd be fighting their battles for them, mm. God. And I pray, God, I pray that you would just give them community in new ways, God. It might not be the face-to-face community that we all long for and that we all desire, but. God, would it be a community like picking up a phone, Mm. picking up their phone and having a conversation with somebody Mm. or even getting on and doing FaceTime, Google Hangouts, whatever they use, God. I just want to pray for Darren Lund right now in Jesus' name. Father God, I pray over Darren. He's struggling right now. His truck's not moving. He's he's in Arizona. 
and uh, he needs to make money to keep sending to his family, take care of his family. Yeah. And so Jesus, in your powerful name, powerful name, we pray for favor on Darren's truck and yeah. a load. Give Darren a load and Father, get him on the road soon yeah. in Jesus' name. I pray yeah. that you would just uh, get him on the road within a very short amount of time and uh, just allow that uh, allow that uh, um, cash flow to start again for, for Darren and uh, that, that it, he would even be able to make up what he's lost in Jesus' name. Yeah, God, I, I echo that prayer, God. I echo that you would just be holding Darren in the palm of your hand right now, God, that he wouldn't feel the stress and the anxiety of not having an, or not having any kind of income right now, God. And I just pray that you would you would be the ultimate provider for Darren in this time, God. And um, God, we pray, like Pastor Sean just said, we pray in Jesus' name, God, that you would be working through the mechanics that are working on that truck right now. God, would you guide them to the problem that's that they're facing? Would you have the the tools and the parts that they need readily available so that way they can get the part in there so he can get on the road for it's not only going to help him, but it's going to bless so many other people through that act that it would otherwise not get a shipment of goods to their store or whatever Darren is delivering, God. Um, and I know you know what the bigger picture is, God. And I just ask that um, we would just we would submit that to you, God. We would submit to your will and just trust you fully in this, God. Yeah. For what we read today earlier in our scripture reading, God, like all all these things can come come up and attack us and uh, as long as we have God on our side we can sit there and say like what can man do to me God that you'll be our help in trouble and you'll be the place of rest refuge for us God Go ahead, Father God I just pray for our missionaries especially God for our Lutheran brethren international missionaries yeah I pray for them and for all missionaries all over the world I just yeah. pray God for them and their families and the fears that they're facing um, the displacement the isolation um, for an unknown period of time. And God, the people that they minister to, that they live to, the questions that they have, life and death questions that they will answer. I pray, God, that you just give them the words, that you would just, that they can just share your everlasting hope and the perfect peace that comes only from you and when they're gripped from fear. And just specifically, God, I just uh, thank you that you will sustain them, that you will provide for them. God, I just ask that you would just... Um, Keep their eyes focused and fixed on you, on Jesus, and just to take every anxious thought captive, captive to you and to make it obedient to you, dear Christ. I pray also, God, that you just comfort everybody around them, that you comfort their neighbors, and particularly, especially those that are in the healthcare systems yeah. and um, those that are unprepared and, and, not, and not so sufficiently prepared, that you would just provide the necessities that they need, the um, test kits that they need, the masks yeah. that they need, and just the wherewithal, and that you would just um, just be with them in these days of so much uncer uncertainty, that you would just uh, provide for them. God, you love them, you care for them. And God, we just declare, and we just declare all of us together, that we hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess, yeah. God, for you have promised, and you are faithful, and God, our trust is in you. Yeah, yeah. Father God, we lift up Jolene Ginger, who's Father died yesterday morning. God, comfort the Ginger family. Their uh, hearts are heavy right now, and um, we just pray you'd be with them as well. And Lord God, we just, uh, I, I echo again what, what Conan has prayed here. I echo what Faye has prayed here. Uh, would you just, each person that's listening right now in Jesus' name, and I know we have pastors on board. We've got, we got people from all over the country on board. Lord God, would you allow them to experience your nearness, your touch of love. Father God, would you um, help each person know that this is your work through prayer as your church comes together to encourage and comfort us as we are one in you. And Father God, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey guys, I have, I've asked Conan to land the plane for us today to just wrap it up. Uh, he's gonna sing you a song. He wants to bless you. Uh, let's just let's just worship, right? Let, and, and could I get an amen from you guys as as Conan's singing this? This is a love song from God to you, as Conan brings this um, wonderful message of uh, music to you, Conan. i
near it to me You will hear my cry for mercy You will loosen things unseen What can men do to me? You will be my help in trouble You will be my place of refuge You will cut these bindings free What can men do to me? I'll sing for joy in place of rest I'll sleep in peace Resting on your chest will sound like a thousand waters your song will rush for ten thousand centuries for ten thousand centuries you will turn your ear to me you will hear my cry things that are unseen. Let's sing that one more time. You will turn your ear to me. You will hear my cry for mercy. You will loosen things unseen. What can man do to me? You will be my help in trouble. You will be my place of refuge. You will cut these bindings free. What can man? 